So in this video, uh, we're introducing now cubics, okay? Um, so the cubic curve, and by a cubic, I mean something that will have uh, an x cubed as part of the equation. So the most basic of those would be y is equal to x cubed, okay? So you've met what y equals x is, you've met y equals x squared, y equals x cubed has um, a peculiar shape, and a shape that you really need to get used to. So, um, when x is 0, y is also 0, so it will be crossing at the origin. Um, as x increases, so 1, 2, 3, uh, y will increase at a cubic rate. So, uh, it will increase faster than a parabola, so it will increase but faster than a parabola, and when x is negative, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, you've got the cube of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so minus 1, minus um, 8, sorry, uh, and then minus 27, so it will also decrease at a cubic rate. So. Uh, this is what y equals x cubed would look like, okay? Um, so you need to get used to see, looking at what this graph would be. Now, in uh, when we looked at quadratics, we also did the translation of quadratics. And translation meant effectively picking up the curve and moving it. So you could translate... Uh, so you could say is translated by the vector, let's say, um, uh, 4 uh, minus 5, for example. Okay? You could say it's uh, translated by the vector 4 minus 5. And when we looked at translating curves, it meant that I would be replacing x with, in this case, x minus 4, and you'd replace the y with y plus 5. Okay, so you change the signs, effectively. So the x becomes x minus 4, and the y becomes y plus 5. So you could take 5 from both sides, and you could rewrite that as x minus 4 cubed, take away 5. So... It's kind of like completed square form. Um, you, you wouldn't call this completed square form, but it looks very similar to it. And you can interpret it in the same way. That the, um, this point, this turning point, or the, what is also known as a point of inflection, okay, because, um, well, I mean, it's not a minimum point, it's not a maximum point. Um, if it's neither one of those, then we would call this, in this case, a point of inflection. This, this point of inflection is going to be moving by the vector 4 minus 5. So you take what's inside and change the sign, so it moves by 4 in the x direction, but maintain the sign on the outside, so 5 down, so 4 long 5 down. So the curve would end up looking something like, well, 4 long 5 down, Let's say it goes about there. So the curve now looks something like this. Okay, so it has this crossing point on the y-axis, this crossing point on the x-axis. Okay, um, so that's 4 minus 5. Okay, and that is the vector 4 minus 5. Now, in doing this, uh, you might be asked, right, like, where would it cross the y-axis now, okay, rather than being at zero. And in order to do that, we would have to multiply out those brackets, the triple brackets. And that is a skill that I'm going to look at in the next video, okay. So the translation idea still works, and the manipulation works with this uh, shape of the curve. And this video is really just to get you used to, this is what y equals x cubed looks like, this is what, what a cubic can look like. Um, the shape can change slightly depending on what the equation is, okay? but you will learn this throughout the next
few videos.